Welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Valuti. Today we will be using arrays to multiply three digit by two digit numbers. The equation above is 257 times 36 equals blank. And we need to figure out how to solve this using arrays. My array that I've made here has one longer dimension and one shorter dimension. I'm going to label the longer side or the longer dimension with the larger number, in this case 257. The shorter dimension, therefore, will be 36, the smaller number in the equation. The next thing that I need to do is I need to break apart my array into more manageable pieces because I don't know how to solve 257 times 36 in my head. One way that I like to break down the numbers to make them more manageable is by thinking in terms of place value. For 257, the 2 is in the hundreds place, so the 2 represents 200. I'm going to write 200 to show that that's part of this side. The 5 in 257 is in the tens place, and the 5 represents 50. So I'm going to break apart that side and label this as 50. The 7 is in the ones place, and the 7 represents 7 ones, or the number 7. So now I have one side of my array labeled in smaller pieces. The next thing that I want to do is do the same thing for 36, and I like to break it down by place value. So I need to think the 3 in 36 is in the tens place. So that represents 30, and I'll label it that way. And the 6 is in the 1's place, and that represents 6. So the next thing that I need to do is that I need to figure out what are the values of these six smaller arrays that I've just created. What are the products? Let's start here. 200 by 30 is this array. So what I want to do is figure out what is 200 times 30. I know that 2 times 3 is 6, and therefore 200 times 30 is 6,000. Moving over to the right, this array is 50 by 30. I know that 5 times 3 is 15, so 50 times 30 is going to be 1,500. My next array is 7 by 30. And I know that 7 times 3 is 21, so 7 times 30 is 210. On the bottom here, I have an unlabeled dimension but I know that that's the same as the value above 200. So here I have 200 times 6 to figure out the value of this piece. All right, I know 2 times 6 is 3, and 200 times, I'm sorry, 2 times 6 is 12, and I know that 200 times 6 is going to be 1,200, or 1,200. Moving over, I have 50 by 6. I know that 5 times 6 is 30, and 50 times 6 is 300. And my last array is labeled 7 by 6, and that's one of my math facts. I know 7 times 6 is 42. Now here I have, I have depicted the same array that was on the page before with all of the parts labeled and I've also decided that now what I need to do is I need to add up each of these six arrays in order to find the product of 257 by 36. I need to know this whole entire space. In order to do that, I need to add up each of the numbers. So I put 600, 6,000, 1,500, 1,200, 300, 210, 42. Sometimes I like to put the numbers in order from greatest to least to make it easier for me to add. 
As I go ahead, I'm going to add them up um, by place value. So I'm starting here in the ones. I have two ones. I have five in the tens. Here I have five plus two is seven, plus another three is ten, plus two more gives me twelve. One plus six plus one plus one is nine. So to answer my question, what is 257 times 36, I know that the answer is 9,252. And that was one way that I could break up the array. There's many ways to do it. But that's an example of how you can use arrays to multiply three-digit numbers times two-digit numbers. Thanks so much for listening.